Hopefully he's a thinking. Yeah, that away. See that? He learned. Sometimes when we're leading our horses, they get really curious and they're lively and they want, they'd like to move. They'll get out in front of us a little further than we would like. Well, that isn't altogether a bad thing that they're curious and that they want to move because that's something that we can use with our horses later on. But we don't want a horse to necessarily be getting too far out in front of us. And when that happens, I like to arc around or what I call cut an angle. What happens is every time he gets in front of me, I now change my angle. I step over here and I am now in front of him. And because I'm always getting at him, they start to realize there's no sense rushing and coming around us because I can simply cut an angle and I always end up in the front again. And it gets down to their awareness and their mind and their body looking at you, drawing, arcing, coming around, but we're effectively getting to their haunch, their, their, their primary driving part. I'm not crossing the hind legs to the extent that he has to necessarily stop. There's forward to this, it's just subtle. So we're stepping, but we're still thinking forward, slow, but forward. And then we get to a point where he sees the box and I say, well, that's kind of neat. Let's, let's take a look. Let's come into this box. Maybe we stand for a few seconds, but I don't want to stand too long because my horse is curious. And if I stand too long, he might get uncomfortable and then he needs to move. So what I would like to do is step him out of that box and I'll work on forward motion, looking, directing, lifting, leading life up. Now notice as I come to the box, we're settling, relaxing, bringing our posture our down, our life down, trying to think about settling and halting. What this does is this just represents an area that your horse will stand, settle, and let down in. I wanna keep my horse, like to keep him in the box, and then I could step back further and further. And then with my posture low, not too much energy, not too much movement, reapproach. So no matter how nervous he gets, you could halt. That so we just worked on our horses stopping and staying put in the box, but really life is about getting out in the world and not being not being in the box but this represents a safe spot a happy place that they can stop and stand okay we were having some issues with the microphone as we were filming this so therefore i'm going to just do a little voiceover what we're looking at doing is thinking about our trail walk as a gradual introduction for our horse to coming away from the barnyard and remaining relaxed we're using the idea of cutting an angle when our horse gets too excited and wants to lead the way. And we're also using our stop and stay to help our horse understand that there's going to be moments where we need them to do these things, where we ask them to stop and he's got to stay put. Initially, we do it in the zone that our horse is comfortable in, which is where we started in this video. Then we gradually venture further and further away from this zone, working on the idea of our body language, bringing the life up and bringing the life back down, and finding places to stop and settle. Initially, we might always come back to our box to stop and settle, but eventually we would like to be able to make that box or the idea of a box be wherever we may need it when we're out on a trail. And we could imagine that there's a box here. There isn't, but we could pretend there is. And we know the feeling of what it was like when he was in the box over there. Now, he is a little more lively here, but I think he's going to settle in. And I'm just, in my mind, I'm pretending that there's a box here. And so... 
I'm not right at the barn, but I'm back towards the barn. It might even get to where I might signal that he could have a bite of grass. And that would be fine. We asked for it. We presented the idea. He gets something good for standing. And you can see that he's still lively, but in order to eat, he's got to relax a little bit. And the fact that we suggest this makes a much more meaningful, much more meaningful communication than when he's confused and doesn't know when he should eat. Now I lift his, I lift my posture. He should lift his. And I did, I did lift up on the rope a little bit. And now back to our adventure tour. As you expand your walk and you venture further, it's going to be important that you keep the idea of the box in mind. That is keeping the idea of finding places for your horse to stop and settle. Sometimes it might mean smelling a tree or a bush or a log and letting them explore with their mind so that you're building in the curiosity. Other times it might be asking them to eat some grass. When you do have them eat grass, it's important that you signal when they are allowed to take their head down. And typically we do this by lowering our hand towards the ground and indicating that it's time for them to put their head down and then lifting our hand up when it is time for them to stop. They are not to go down for grass at any time they decide, so that's very important. When they do eat, it is very beneficial in the relaxation process because they lower their head, they start using their mouth, exploring with their mouth a bit, they start chewing, which also encourages relaxation, releasing some of that tension, he really put his head down and the same thing he did with the poles he did with the rock he wanted to paw it and explore it and i'm really glad that we had the lesson first with stopping in the box and then there's another little rock here now i'm going to lead the, i'm going to lead, lead the way on that here come all the way down all the way down it's really nice to be able to stop your horse it's a really good feeling. To lead my horse down some slippery hills. There you go. Look how careful he was that time. One more time here. And back down. Hopefully he's a thinking. Yeah, that away. See that? He learned. Now, if your horse doesn't stop in that box, well, you wouldn't go on to these types of things because he could come on top of you or slip and get too close to you. But I'm okay with where, with where my horse is. So for me, that works okay. I'm center, direct my attention down. Would he follow that focus down and eat? and we'll work our way back to the, to the barn. 